Hello guys, welcome back to another movie explanation video and today we are going to explain a movie or you can say we are going to summarize a movie called Inuyashiki. So heading towards the movie, we see a old man named Ichiro. However, Ichiro is a middle class man who bought a new house for his family. But the family don't seem to be very appreciative of his efforts because they all are complaining about their new home which was smaller compared to all the houses nearby. However, the father bought sushi for the family to celebrate. But their family don't want any takeouts and instead they go to the restaurant without their old men. Ouch! This was heartbreaking. So, moving towards the movie, Ichiro has no choice but to enjoy the celebration by himself. In the next scene, at work, his boss complains about his new project that is trying to sell energy drinks which is making the company lose a lot of money. And no of sense, Ichiro apologizes publicly while his manager yells at him in front of all of his co-workers. He goes home after a tough day and way towards his home, he saw some thugs stealing some money from a man similar to himself. Ichiro turns around in fear and when he turns around, he was spotted by his daughter who blames him for being a coward. In the next scene, while sitting outside his house, Ichiro finds a stray dog abandoned by his master and in the meantime, he finds out her name is Heneko and the main character feels a kinship with her right away. However, when the wife sees her husband with the dog, she immediately tells him to get rid of her and eventually she handed him a report about his recent medical examination which required him to do further testings. And next day when Ichiro visits hospital, he receives a terrible news from the doctor who tells him that he has a stage 4 cancer and he only have 3 months to live. He tries calling his wife about the news but she chooses to ignore him. And Ichiro also calls his daughter but she also ignores his phone call. At dinner time, he tries telling his family about his medical conditions but they are too engulfed in themselves and continues to blame the father for every little mishap. Instead, confronting her daughter, the wife demands her husband to get rid of the dog while paying no attention attention to the pain in his husband's eyes. Ichiro walks his pet out into the streets and wonders if his family will even cry for him after hearing the terrible news. He apologizes to Hanko and tries to leave her behind but she continues to follow him everywhere he goes. After failing to leave his loyal companion, Ichiro realizes that Hanko is the only thing in this world that cares about him and he apologizes profusely for abandoning his friend. On the other hand, he sees another man named Hiro contemplating while sitting in the park. All of the sudden, when they look up, they see a bright light heading this way and eventually an object hits them with a blinding speed and Ichiro loses his consciousness while strange creatures surrounds him while Haneko barks at that moment. And when he wakes up in the morning, he finds his dog beside him and surprisingly, he also regained the perfect vision without his glasses. In the next scene, when Ichiro goes home for the breakfast, he finds that he cannot taste any of the food and feels extremely thirsty while drinking water from the fountain. He goes to his room only to see that the smoke is coming out from his hand. And then suddenly, it turns into a large rifle and shoot what appears to be in the soup he drank from earlier. His whole body begins to transforming and opening everywhere showing mechanical parts underneath the skin. And somehow Ichiro manages to pull himself together as his wife walks into the room. And in the next scene, it turns out that Ichiro's daughter Mary goes to the same class as Hiro. So as you remembered, the man who was with Ichiro last night, he goes to his friend Choko and he decides to show him the power he obtained from the encounter last night by shooting a bird from the distance with his fingers. Hiro then takes his friend to an underground parking where he demonstrates the ability to control the cars with his mind and he also proceeds to reveal his mechanical body. In the meantime, Ichiro leaves work and sees an injured pigeon on the floor. He holds the animal in compassion and surprisingly, he is able to heal it with full health and he also sends the happiness of the bird of flying again. However, Ichiro also heals hears a another voice of suffering from a hospital and when he quickly arrives to the hospital, he saw a boy is close to dying from a terminal illness. Whereas Ichiro puts his hands on the boy and manages to bring him back to health. 
just like the pigeon seeing the mother reunite with her son he goes solving happiness knowing that he saved someone's life on the other side hero brings his friends to the bullies and demands that they apologize and give back the money they took however hero grabs onto the bully's arm and hurts him until he gets exactly what he wants hero points his finger towards the man and just before he kills choco stops him telling that's enough his apparent bravery catches the attention of a girl named Shion who confesses to him in the hallway hero thanks her for the compliments and walks away with a smile in the meantime we also came to know that his mother is divorced because hero's father left her for another woman even though she was betrayed by her ex husband she still shows care for his health and wants hero to spend time with his father however hero doesn't like it very much but he still goes to their house and spends time eating dinner with their family but as you can see that their happiness only infuriates hero from a fin as he believes that it was stolen from his mother while playing with his half brother hero points his finger towards the family and hesitates about pulling the trigger he eventually stops while looking at his father he realizes that he still care for the man despite what he has done in the next scene hero walks home alone and hears all the happiness from the family nearby he breaks into one of the houses and proceed to shoot everyone inside Ichiro hears this from the hospital after saving more people and when he rushes towards the house he see a young girl with a bullet hole on her head he tries saving her with his power but he realizes that it only works on living creatures when he walks in the living room he sees Hiro standing over the dead bodies Ichiro recognizes the man from the park earlier but Hiro attacks him and sends him flying before he can say a single word he recovers unharmed and rushes out of the house but in the meantime he see hero flying off into the distance in the next scene choco meets with hero and suspect his friend is responsible for all the murders that occurred last night since they all died with a gunshot but there is no single sign of a bullet in the body however hero admits that he killed the family but justifies this believing that he is a god now he says that strangers die every day no matter what happens and they shouldn't feel sorry for the people they don't even know choco refuses to accept this and backs off in fear he tells hero that they can't be friends anymore and runs away from the murderer meanwhile when hero reaches home to his mother his mother tells her son that from now onward he must have to live with his father she continues to explains that she has inoperable cancer and the doctor told her that she won't live much longer Hero embraces his mother and cries while swearing that he would never allow her to die. In the next scene Ichiro goes home and tells his family that he was demoted by the company. The wife yells at him worrying about the mortgage while the daughter becomes angry at his father for his incompetence. However, Ichiro laments about his inability to protect his own family and doubts that he is able to stop the murderers and help others. Suddenly he hears Choko's voice praying that someone can stop his best friend from killing more people. Ichiro realizes that he has to stop doubting himself and resolves to use his powers to stop Hero from murdering others. He transforms into his robot form and flies towards the sky while carrying Hanuko with him. Ichiro arrives at the park and meets Choko there and they talk about that what actually happened on that night and Choko speculates that aliens must have constructed Ichiro and Hero. He thinks that they both must have the same abilities and decide to train Ichiro based on what he saw a hero is able to do they go to a junkyard where ichiro tries to shoot a tin can with his hand let's just say that the old man has a lot of training to do before he can come even close to beating his rival on the other side hero goes to see the doctor with his mother only to find out that the cancer has fully disappeared from her body probably it is because of her son's healing ability they walk home together and hero tries to convince his mother to enjoy the life and go on vacations he promises that he will make her happy as her life has been difficult from the beginning however their happiness don't last even longer because 
they are visited by a group of police officers demanding to question hero about the murders he runs off immediately while his mother screams of his name hero tosses the police officers around like a rag doll and sprints onto the parking lot he uses his powers to kill three of the officers while others fire at him with no effect hero jumps down from the stairway and proceeds to fly away from the area The news of his escape travels quickly through the media and Hero quickly becomes a fugitive with nowhere to hide. Luckily he met Zion and she decides to take him in despite his current status. We learn that Zion is living with her grandmother, the only relative if that she has left after her parents died of illness years ago and she doesn't think that she can live longer either. Meanwhile, Ethro finally makes some progress on his trainings but gets tired easily from all the excursion. He becomes thirsty again and grabs the energy drink from his company. Choco speculates that the water must fuel their bodies as they became very thirsty after using their weapons. Ichiro begins feeling pain from his body and shoots out the liquid just like he did last time with the soup. Choco quickly realizes that it may be the sodium contents that's causing his body to malfunction. At night, Hiro watches the news about his mother only to see that everyone is blaming her for what her son did. She apologizes rapidly but receives received no sympathy from anyone he falls into tears realizing that the crimes he committed is now being paid by the person he loves most in this world meanwhile the news also informs him that they found his mother's dead body in her apartment apparently she killed herself after being pressured by the media hero goes into the shock at this realization he begins reading the comments on the video only to see everyone cursing at his mother's name hero becomes enraged and uses his powers to hack into the commentator's computers. He begins shooting everyone through the screen, causing widespread mortality across the nation as the people fought dead after looking at their device. In the next scene, Jian finds Hero unable to sleep at night and tries to comfort him, but the man tells her that he is responsible for killing all those people and he transforms in front of her and tries to scare her away. But the girl refuses to believe that the man she loves is a killer. Hero rushes her outside and takes her to the sky, asking Jion if this frightens her. But the only thing that the girl is scared of is the betrayal of Hero. Hero realizes that she is the only person in the world who cares about him, and Hero promises the girl to protect her. After all this, Hero is finally able to sleep, and Jion smiles and says that he is very human. Meanwhile, she goes to the kitchen and feels some things beside her. Jion turns around only to see that an army of soldiers pointing their guns at her Hero sees this and grabs her immediately while the soldiers fires continuously at his body. He turns around and retaliates with fury, killing every one of them. When everything settles, he notices that Jion is already dead with multiple gun wounds on her body. Hero cries at his friend's death and resolves to kill everyone in the country. Ishiro sees the news reports about the recent murders and warns his family to turn off their phones, but none of them listens and proceeds to go out despite the danger. Mary meets up with his friends while they climb the top of the high rise to enjoy the scenery. And meanwhile, Hero begins broadcasting himself on every single network and tells everyone his intentions of destroying the country in order to avenge his family. No one takes him seriously until he begins shooting at the masses and people are dropping dead everywhere. While looking at this, everyone was panicked and runs in a chaos, but there is nowhere to hide from his attack. However, Ichiro manages to hijack the signal and Choko tells everyone to throw away their phone in order to prevent the attacks. Without any way to reach the masses, Hero decides to attack humanity directly by firing numerous amount of missiles in the city and causing explosions. explosions everywhere itro finds hero and tries to convince him to stop but his words fails to reach the young man as he begins chasing itro through the sky They go through the buildings in the city and Hero follows the old man closely. He begins shooting a barrage of missiles but Ichiro manages to evade them as they explode right behind him. They fly through an underground tunnel and Ichiro nearly gets hit by the upcoming traffic. As they fly closer to Mary, the father begins hearing her plead for help as her building was struck by one of the missiles. 
the old man rushes towards his daughter but gets attacked by hero from behind which stuns his flight system and forces him to crash land on the side of a building itro tries shooting at the man but hero dodges the attack and kicks him through the building they crash into a helicopter and knocks it towards the wall causing it to explode and then they land on a rooftop and itro continues to beg hero to stop this destruction but the young man takes out a bottle of water and tries to recharge but itro destroys his bottle and however while looking at this hero takes the bottle from the old man he drinks the whole bottle and continues to fire missiles sending itro flying into the sky itro chases the old man as they fly further into the atmosphere he fires more missile at itro who gets pushed by the explosion into outer space hero punches him and takes this opportunity to grab the old man planning to finish the fight with a final attack instead of firing missiles he shoot out the water he drank earlier which turns out to be a energy drink replaced by itro hero falls back as his body malfunctions and grabbing this opportunity itro Hero transform his arm into a rifle and shoots numerous projectiles at Hero, sending him flying towards Earth with the explosion. The old man flies towards the building where his daughter was struck. And in the meantime, he sees Mary lying motionless on the ground. He tries everything in order to resurrect her and manages to bring back her breath. They embarrass each other as tears falls from the old man's eyes. Suddenly, he gets kicked from side which sends him flying into the wall. It turns out that Hero survived the fall from earlier and returns to take his vengeance. He learns that Mary is the old man's daughter and begins attacking her. And at last, he grabs Mary and takes her to the edge of the building. Hero wants the father to experience the same despair which he feels every moment. He throws his daughter off the building, seeing his family about to get killed. Itro charges his all energy and flies towards Hero. He crashes into the men and breaks off his arm while flying towards his daughter. Itro charges downward and see that Mary is still falling. He reaches out on the girl and manages to catch her right before hitting the ground. Mary wakes up after being healed by her father and realizes that the old man is a superhero. Mary sees her father flying off as he rushes toward to save as many people as he could. Although the government has confirmed Hero's death because they haven't really found his body on the site in the next scene itro continues to have dinner with his family like everything is normal but his daughter now sees that her father is a true hero choko goes home and to his surprise sees that hero is still alive and he offers hero to play the newest video game with him however when choko turns around after finding the game he see that hero already left knowing that his present only endangers his best friend so this was the whole story of in yashiki so i hope you like this video if you like the video click on the like and subscribe button and share as much as you can so hit the bell icon because if i upload my latest video you will be getting a notification so this was from my side and it's a request guys that please 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 subscribe this channel So let's meet in the next video till then bye bye goodbye take care